Okay guys, so this video is um, titled, Students Who Sing Develop a Ding. And um, I came up with that little saying because I really feel like um, when I was in my math class and teaching math, um, I always thought songs were kind of fun and sometimes silly and you have kids every year respond to it differently. But the more you just own it and make it fun and make it seem like it's something that's expected, maybe even have some type of incentive. If you have multiple classes, you can say, I want to see what class is going to sing the best, sing the loudest, sing, get up and dance and, and learn the lyrics to this song. Um, if you do not switch classes, you can be like, we're going to compete against the other grade levels. And as a teachers, we're going to discuss and talk about who did a better job. Um, you know, you can always kind of mix this up, but um, we kind of talked about it at, at, uh, at the uh, beginning of the year when, during the um, teacher staff development week um, about how are we going to get our kids who um, um, systematically score lower. And a lot of times it was our African-American boys. And why is that? I mean, when I think about um, my classroom, why is that significantly lower? Well, I think about how maybe... I have a guest in my video. <laughs> How maybe you can um, do the songs and have kids up and moving because the more kids are up and moving, especially those boys that need that energy and need to let that stuff out, um, it's helpful. So if you think about videos that they're listening to, oftentimes kids will say that they don't know their multiplication facts or they don't know the answer to our problem, but they know every lyric to a song. So I think about that and I use songs to um, help me teach my math class. So if you are ever in need of a song, just let me know. I can try to research some for you. However, oftentimes I made up some myself. So I know a lot of you are going to be getting into decimal soon. So I, I shared the decimal song in the Google Drive. So um, it's to the tune of I Love Rock and Roll and it's I Love Decimals. So it's really fun. It gets the kids up and moving and really excited. Reminds them about lining up the decimal and um, a lot of little things here and there about decimals. So it's in it's in um, the Google Drive if you're in fourth, fifth, or sixth grade, because I know that's coming up. I'm not sure about third, but that's just an example. And I really feel like when students can sing and have fun and, and dance around and have a song that ties into what they're learning, um, it literally creates that ding, that spark, and that you have something that you can refer it back to. Um, so for instance, with um, Orders Operation with PEMDAS, Oftentimes, there's a little spot in the song that I would refer back to to help them. Also with integers, so sixth grade teachers, there's an amazing integer song. And I would always say, same sign, add, and keep. And they all would remember and say, different sign, subtract. So that little stuff here and there is going to help you. So anyway, this is um, a quick video on students who sing Develop a Ding.